So what are my quests? Let's take a look at all this fucking quest that just popped up, because holy crap. Alright, so we have an optional quest to find the hidden bunker buried beneath the Legion stronghold. We have to recover the platinum shit from Benny. This is like the main one. And we also have to kill or disable Mr. House. That's part of the idea? Okay. Unless it's one or the other. <sighs> Side bets. We can make contact with Brother Steel, visit the White Glove Society, observe the Omertus. Go to Red Rock Canyon and make contact with Great Cons or make contact with Boomers. Basically all the fucking factions. Okay. As interesting as this is looking, you gotta go, DJ. Alright, man. Thank you for hanging out tonight. Appreciate it. Have a good night. But I still haven't confronted him at the casino. Can we still confront confront his ass? I would love to. So he got lured out of his room. Wonder if he's actually around. This place is there he is. There he fucking is. Saving it. What's up, douchebag? What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. That broad everyone saw go in the lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. Jigs up, Benny. Me and the yes man had a talk. Hmm. Give me one reason. Uh, seems like you, uh, mm, uh, let's do that one. Seems like you need to work on your marksmanship, dickbag. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or you just thick skulled. Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere it's more private like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Uh. No deal. Time for you to die, Benny. That probably saves a lot of time, to be honest. Um, what do you got in mind? To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. <sighs> We're probably going to have to do this speech thing. But anyway, Morrow, you're going to hit the hay as well? All right. You have a good night. Appreciate you hanging out. And, uh, yeah. You'll hit on me more tomorrow. Oh, I'm sure you will. Good night, Morrow. <sighs> Let's go with the speech one. You lose the bodyguards and we'll go now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Follow me hey, the up the stairs. No sudden moves around the box. Got it? Shut the fuck up. Yeah, see? No sudden moves around the box. Yeah. Yeah, see? All right, just me and you, douchebag. Let's see how this goes. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask. How is it that you're still living? Call it luck. Security Tron dug me up. That's actually the true one. House was on to me from word go. I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Well. Oh, show him the lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me. Which way is the wind gonna blow? Um, uh, why are you wondering why I shouldn't just fucking pop your ass? You've got a crazy drop on me here, baby. That's for sure. If killing's what you came for, this would be the time. But baby, you'd be disappointing me. All the trouble you went through to arrange this shindig must be something more you're after. What are you offering? You help me and before long the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? With enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? Uh, answers first, bitch. You got questions? I got answers. First things first, tell me about the platinum chip. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. 
It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. Okay, and it belongs to me, bitch. Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me, not you. You'll get a piece of the action and a sweet one, but the chip sticks with me. What's your offer? Like I said, once the chairman are running Vegas, you'll get a percentage. Until then, I'll pay. <sighs> I want to know about the factions. Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you straight. Tell me about House. A good cat to swing with, or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. Hmm. What makes the chairman so special? We're the definition of cool, baby. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir faire to run the strip on our own. Savoir faire? What about the Omeris? A tribe of finks. Every single one of them is a degenerate. Mark my words, they're playing an angle. How do I know? They always are. Okay, what about the white gloves? Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite, if I may this, my pleasure that. Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. Hmm, okay. NCR? A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too. And smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House. And a lot afraid of Caesar. If the NCR beats the Legion at Hoover Dam, they'll turn on us and claim the Strip. And we don't have the muscle to beat them. Not yet. Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. Okay. What about the Legion? Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole towns. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're going to try to take the dam again real soon. And if they do... Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. Great. Can't wait. Okay. Uh, help me understand this scheme of yours, then. Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. And what makes you think you can succeed? Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's it's coming together. And you're willing to commit murder? Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you was rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket... I really did blow out your brains. Hmm. Murder is the answer. Yours. It's tempting. I see your point. It's a game, and games have winners and losers. I prefer the former. How about you? So what's the deal with your secret workshop and Yes Man, friend? You really weren't supposed to talk to him. All right. So, he used to be a Securitron on patrol, square as the rest, until I gave him a Mickey in the shape of a pulse grenade. Once he was on the nod, I yanked some wires and dragged him up to the workshop. I had some help, you see. Gal named Emily, one of the followers over in Freeside, a real whiz when it comes to things technical. She programmed his personality. Emily? Once Yes Man was hooked back into House... Have I met Emily? Network, I started learning a lot more about what he was up to, Dig. 
like where and when to find you. Cool. Anyway, you're gonna head to bed too, Moon Princess. All right. Thank you very much for stopping by. Sorry your streams were uh, not. Sorry you weren't able to stream yourself. I know you were planning on it. Hopefully that shit's cleaned up by tomorrow, and you have a good night yourself. Uh. So let's talk about the platinum chip. How does the chip work? It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer I've found. Must require special hardware. What does it do? It has something to do with the Securitrons. I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them half. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. I wonder if that's actually what it does, or if that's just what everybody thinks it does. Uh, so what are you offering? So... It's a deal. Like I trust you, no thanks. Forget it, I forgive you. Or no deal, time to die. I mean, he fucking shot me in the face. We're here alone. <sighs> Sorry, Benny. I don't trust you. It's time to die. Guess I should have seen that coming. All right, Benny. I don't know if you have anything on you, but I do. Hmm, but what do we use? Do we rip him in pieces? Yes. Yes, we do. Get ready to die! Benny, Benny, Benny. Oh, Benny. I wonder if you'll survive. Maybe a Securitron will come in here and revive your bitch ass. God, one can hope, huh? Maria, Maria. He had a fancy gun. Take his rounds. Ooh, should we take his suit? You fucking damn right we should. Got his key. Got his chip. And we got the sweet key. Oh, yes. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, bitch! Went up a level and got the platinum chip. Suck it, Benny. Suck it. Okay, for 15 points, I'm pouring 10 of those into barter because barter has been a real problem. And the last five, we're going to put into lockpicking. I really want lockpicking to be at least 50, I think, for medium locks. And skill point, I'm going to put into life giver. Or with life giver point, you gain an initial 30 points. However, for your chance to hit opponent's legs and vats and skill increase. Nah. You've been working out. Weapons heavier than 10 pounds now weigh half as much. So only heavy weapons are wider? That seems silly. Fast metabolism, you gain 20 health bonus when you use stim packs. That's pretty nice. You want to keep your senses alert to any danger when crouched and not moving. Plus two gain recept. Uh, fuck that. So... I'm kind of tempted to just do a here and now perk. I don't even care. I'm just going to do it. Fuck it. Yo, another level up. Let's go. All right, now we got more points to work with. That's all I cared about. All right. I'm going to get barter up to 40. Lockpick to 45. And I'll put the other four in science. And we'll go for that. All right. Neato. Can we, we can't pick this, can we? No, because we need 50. I couldn't have gone all the way up to 50, though, even if I tried there. Ooh, take Pugilism Illustrated. I don't know what that is, but we're taking it. Well. It's called a Mutt Fruit. I thought it said Multi Fruit for a second there. Well, we have the key to this suite. We can come back here anytime. 
the biggest thing that we can take away from this whole situation is that we have the platinum chip, which has basically been our main objective for the whole game. Find Benny, get the chip back that he took from us in the beginning. We did that. He fucked Benny up with no remorse, because fuck that guy. If he really thought I was going to come up in here and be all civil with his ass, yeah, right. Yeah, fucking right. Lots of alcohol. Lots of alcohol. And one whole fresh apple. Sick. And one fresh fucking place to take a deuce. Okay, cool. All right, well, I guess... I'm assuming we're going to have to fight our way out of here, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out when we get downstairs. I'm just going to go. Hope you guys had the time of your life. Should we talk to Schwanky over here? What's up, gank? You're back. Find anything? Yeah, he's dead. Huh. Guess that makes me the boss. <laughs> Ring a ding. Wow, the end. See ya. Guess I'm the boss later. <laughs> Okay, so I got the chip. So, oh God. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Your crimes against the Legion, including the death of the fearless Wolfes and Kulta, are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. How did you find me? I am one of Kaisar's frumentari, an infiltrator. Cop, stop calling him Kaisar. I'm gonna murder not you. Not difficult to track. Why does the Caesar want to see me? Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The cursor Lucullus will be waiting. Okay, Illyrio. Kaisar awaits. So I guess we have a quest that has to do with the Legion, hey. which I don't really give a fuck about. But that's on the list of two lists of things. So many factions. So many factions. But the main story dictates we go talk to the... <sighs> to what's-his-face. Oh, return to Yes Man. Oh, shit. Was I supposed to go back to Yes Man? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, Cox. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to Yes Man. Totally didn't kill your fearless leader, Benny. Ain't that a kick in the head? Hopefully those guys don't give a fuck about me. Oh. Wait. Is he gone? He's fucking gone. Or is he? Uh, where did he go? Where the hell is the yes man? Did he move? He must have moved, obviously, but where? Like, did he go? Are these guys going to attack me? Hey, guys. I 
I'm just looking for the robot. If he's not here, he's not here, I guess. You're going to head out, Robbie? All right, man. You have a good night as well. Appreciate you hanging out. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Talk to you later. I honestly don't know how much longer I'm going to go. I was just going to go see what the next, like, steps of this main story quest were going to be. And, like, I don't know where this fucking robot went. I hope Swank's smarter than Benny. Well, they seem to have accepted that Benny's dead, so that's cool. Wait, where the fuck is the yes man at? Is he just not in here? Maybe he's just not even in here. Oh, he's fucking right here. Son of a biscuit. Don't you just love that flat? Hi, yeah, yeah. Buzzes with power and possibilities, doesn't it? If I were you, I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House just to learn all its tricks. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion to power, I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. <sighs> so, if something happens to Mr. House, I may be in touch. So, kill or disable Mr. House. That is one of my options. And then my other option is to pick one of the factions to basically lead this shit. Travel to Conwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of me kind of wants to go just like talk to Mr. House and just be like, yo, I found your chip. What can you teach me? Wow. This, I was going to say, from afar, it looks like this lady's tatas are hanging out. It's because they totally are. Hey there, friend. Whoa. Of advice. Hello? You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Um, I, I would love to come talk to you closer. See what you got. We got silencer weapons, straight razors. I'm good right now. Waiting for you inside. I was just trying to talk to the stripper lady. Thank you very much. All right. What I was, what I was mainly gonna do was I was gonna make a new save, because I was gonna make this the point where I make the decision to go talk to Mr. House or not. Obviously, I'm gonna go talk to him. I did save it right before I killed Benny as well, right? So, yeah. Let's go talk to Mr. House and just kind of see what happens. Where to, partner? To the penthouse, please. Actually, before I do that, just real quick. Penthouse floor. What is the cocktail lounge? We haven't been there, have we? No, we have not. Maybe this is where the snow globe is at? I kind of looked around the first floor already. It's not behind the bar. Hmm. True police stories. The magazine, my favorite. Where, oh, where could that snow globe have gone? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? This area doesn't make very much sense for it to fucking be. It's just like randomly shoved somewhere, which would be weird. All right, let's go talk to Mr. Douche. Here we go. Yeah, you ready for this, guys? Me and Raul Julia, round two. Here we go. So, Benny has been handled, 
And you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. I have some questions first. I'll be happy to satisfy your every curiosity once the platinum chip has been delivered. We need to discuss payment. Our terms were clear. Now that you have the chip in your possession, any attempt to renegotiate payment would be tantamount to blackmail. Uh, Let's just give it to him. Let's see. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious. So very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. Uh, so what happens next? A great deal shall be happening. A cascade of events with you taking a central role. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. You'll understand soon enough. Oh, will I? Are we going to get to see him in whatever form that he's in? Oh boy, I think we are. Closer to the demonstration area, if you would. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. Uh-huh. The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms and shrapnel easily enough. Its X-25 Gatling laser produced to spec by Glastinghouse Inc. is deadly against soft targets at medium range. And for close-range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. All of this you probably already knew. What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer ranges. And a rapid-fire G-28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close-range engagements. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto-repair systems. Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Okay. So, as Benny said... To the basement are rarely so educational, <sighs> upgrades to the robots. I've since Got broadcast it. the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters. And I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Well, cool. Now what? Uh, to secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. I'm listening. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. You want me to kill Cesar? Absolutely not. Caesar is of great use to me. I don't want you harming a hair on that man's head, assuming you could find one. So what do you want me to do? I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. How do I open it? You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the Platinum chip and open sesame. What's inside? Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. So don't bother asking. So what's my stake in this? I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money. 
though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future for you and for what remains of the human race. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't ask what came of Benny. That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the platinum chip. Revenge doesn't interest me. Progress does. Sorry Fair to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yawp. What else did you want to discuss? Fine. Uh, how will NCR defend the dam? General Oliver's strategy, or tunnel vision, as I like to call it, has been to mass troops at Hoover Dam. He wants to outfight the Legion in a straightforward slugging match, and then, when they rout, pursue and destroy them in detail. A crushing, decisive victory of this sort would overshadow the tactical ingenuity of Chief Hanlon's defense four years ago, you see. Okay, and what's your battle plan? A good deal should be obvious to you by now. I won't spoil the rest by talking out of turn. Okay. What's your plans for Vegas? I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. Not just against Caesar's Legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. So how do you intend to force the claim? To enforce, one must have force. A position of strength. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam, and I knew my Securitrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. And so I recruited the three families. Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Okay, and wasn't their army big enough to defeat your Securitrons? Indeed it was, and still is but not without taking significant casualties. Would Kimball and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh, yes. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar, that attacking me would leave them vulnerable to a Legion offensive. And so they negotiated, not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they try to make it seem, because the calculus of power left no other choice. Okay, so what are the terms of your treaty? NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harness the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. You would go to war against them? The salient issue is that they will go to war with me, if given the chance. There's just one reason why the NCR hasn't contrived some outrage to justify invading the Strip. Caesar's Legion. The final battle between those two armies is fast approaching. I can't afford to let either side win on their terms. What else did you want to discuss? Basically, you want to see them destroy each other. Anyway, what's the deal with the Snow Globe collection? What of it? I enjoy them. There's something about a little diorama set inside a glass dome that I find pleasing. If you run across any out in the wastes, turn them in to Jane. She'll compensate you. What else did you want to discuss? Mm, where does New Vegas get all its electricity? The Hoover Dam, I already know this. <sighs> Hoover Dam, of course. A hydroelectric dam. The NCR had it up and running at 50% capacity within a year of occupying the dam. By treaty, New Vegas receives 5% of its output. More than enough. What else did you want to discuss? What was Vegas like before the war? It was a place of splendor. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's but a shadow of the neon paradise that was Las Vegas. 
I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. Okay, and you say that you saved it? By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. Every projection I ran confirmed it. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas, and in the process, perhaps save mankind. I set to work immediately. I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, I was 20 hours short. What preparations did you make? On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another nine warheads. The rest got through, though none hit the city itself. A suboptimal performance, admittedly. If only the platinum chip had arrived a day sooner. Why didn't it arrive? The platinum chip was printed in Sunnyvale, California on October 22nd, 2077, the day before the Great War. It was to have been delivered by courier the following afternoon, but by then, the world had ended. The chip contained vital software upgrades, but not just for my Securitrons. Every aspect of the missile defense grid would have been upgraded, too. Given that I had to make do with buggy software, the outcome could have been worse. I nearly died as it was. How did you nearly die? Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. For nearly five years, I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma, but I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. Well, okay, then. What else did you want to discuss? I don't know. We've talked a lot. I think we're done here. Goodbye. Okay, my goodness. Conversations. That was a lot of conversation. Enjoy your time in Vegas. But really what I got all of all that is that we still need to kill or disable him. I don't really know if we can at the moment. Unless we just destroy the machine itself. Which I'm not even sure is a thing I can do. But essentially he's telling me That we need to go do this quest, basically. Go talk to Caesar and check out the fort. This is a first playthrough. Please shut up if I don't have to do something. Please no backseating. Please, please, please. Please ask if it's a first playthrough if you don't know before you answer questions. It's in the tags of the, of the fucking stream. Please check those things. I mean, I appreciate you wanting your help, but please don't answer stuff. <sighs> anyway, um... I mean, if the option to kill Mr. House is to just destroy this fucking computer, which I guess is an option. Unless there's another way to do it, which I don't know yet. I kind of want to try just to see if you can. I don't know if that's how I, what I, what I actually want to do. But part of me just wants to shoot the TV and see what happens. Just because it still has the objective to kill him or disable him or whatever. So you know what? You know what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to get fucked. Because as soon as we take a shot, these robots are going to go ape shit. I tell you what. I'm thinking it's going to be a shit show here in a second. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get my shit ready. To be fair, you don't have to do anything. You could also do anything. Yeah, I, 
I kind of figure that I can kind of do whatever I want, Ozzy. That's the beauty of this game. I don't know about the climbing the mountain, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, Ozzy, what's up, man? Welcome. How you doing today? I'm just going to shoot it and see what happens. Weapons use is discouraged. Thank you for your cooperation. Took you like 10 years that you realize you can climb any mountain Skyrim with a horse? Really? All right, well. Have you found the courage to? Chip has not been delivered, but I can tell him it's been delivered. Wait a second. Do you have any idea how prodigious is the opportunity you're casting aside here? Oh, I can just say no thanks. Or I can say fine. Here, take the platinum chip again. You will need it. Upon arrival at the fort, it's likely that you'll be searched uh... and the chip taken from you. Don't worry, it will come back to you. Okay. We got the chip back. Now can I shoot him? I don't think shooting him is going to do anything. I could just pee on his system core. That sounds like a plan. Let's do that, frog. Let's do that. But anyway, okay, so shooting the TV, the TV didn't seem to do anything. I'm not going to waste any more ammo on that shit. But he gave me the chip back, so that gives me the power to do whatever the fuck I want. But yeah, okay. Neato. I guess we'll go. I was wondering why I didn't get a quest for that, because I was like, didn't he give me the chip back? I guess he didn't until I did that. So now I have the chip back. Casino floor. Well... In terms of questing, that's the next main story thing, then go do the Fortification Hill thing. If I want to follow this, you know, part of the story. Yeah. You're right. Anything you would tell me of how to do anything right now, T308, is a spoiler. Who caused all of that trouble in the time? Hey, it's the Emily chick they were talking about earlier. I was going to say, I don't think I met her when I talked about her name, but this must be her. Anyway, you're doing good, Ozzy. You're at the point in life where you love your schedule more than your actual pay of your job. The pay is decent. Weirdo schedules are, are so good. M fuck Monday to Friday, 9 to 5s. What's your new schedule? I'm curious. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows Maybe this bitch on. can help me figure out well, what to do about this you. guy. And this is where I come in. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Uh, Dr. Funky G diagnoses a terminal low discussion of caps in this conversation. <laughs> I'm doing it. I have the barter for it. I'm doing it. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give Ooh, you medical, some medical supplies. supplies for your efforts. I can live with that. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. Stim, stim packs, please. All right, I'll do it. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on. Okay, Mr. so House's this is how network. you take Mister House down. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully, you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. All right, so this is how you take him down. I got it. Anyway, your new schedule is Saturday to Tuesday from 12 to 10.30. Interesting schedule. That's not very many days. Saturday to Tuesday. I mean, that's only, what, four days of work? You enter at noon and have three-day weekends, Wednesday to Friday, which means you can slide in doctor appointments without having sacrifice hours. I mean, yeah, four days a week, that's, that's not bad. It doesn't matter which four days if you have four days. That's pretty nice. Goodbye. That's a pretty good work schedule. Okay, well, I think I am going to call this a session. We've done quite a bit today. The first few hours were straight up side questing. The last few hours or two hours or so have been welcomed in fucking the strip of Vegas, so... It's been quite interesting. We've even dealt with Benny and got the platinum chip in our possession. So we've done quite a lot. 
And there's still plenty more to explore here in the Vegas Strip. So it should be interesting. We also got to take down this Mr. House fella if we want to. I mean, we have options. That's the beauty of this game. We have options. We can decide how we want to handle each and every one of these things. So, yeah. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we'll make some more great decisions with our life. So I will see you guys then. Peace out.